Mr. Costner, it's such an honor to speak with you today. Thank you. And I really enjoyed the movie. It brought me to tears. I was just absolutely riveted. Just a fabulous film. Thank you so much. One thing I really thought was powerful was sort of the strategic use of scripture throughout the film. In one scene, Psalm 91 is quoted. Um, Amazing Grace is played at the end. Talk to me about this creative decision and how you chose which scriptures to put at various parts of the film. Well, I wanted it to obviously relate to the, the situation. Um, uh, and the second one, uh, you know, faith is what guided people out there to the unknown. They just leaned on it. Uh, there was this promise, but, you know, the promise was not enough. You had to go on faith. And people brought their religion with them uh, west. Um, and I don't know, I, I grew up a Baptist, and um, uh, it, church has always been a part of, you know, my life, my grandmother, the whole thing. So I don't mind it bleeding into a movie. I don't force it in. But when I think about why people went west, they, they did. They they. You know, when they said goodbye to the people back east, they never saw them again. So it was there was just some kind of trust that people needed to lean on because they were often times and situations where they they didn't even know what they were doing. They were out of control. They needed faith. Well, you've wanted to make this film since the 80s, and it's such an emotionally powerful film. Did you rely on spirituality or prayer or faith during the creation of, of this film, just given how long it took to make it? Well, I, I just trusted that um, I've had hands over me for sure in my life. And um, and I'm like anybody, I try to force it, right? I try to force things through a force of will. And I've been able to do that a lot in my life. But I've also found that things come in their own time. And th- th- it was, um, I think that's how my career has gone, to be honest. Um, everything in its own time. I didn't burst on the scene as a teenager. It, it took me a while. So um, I, trust, I trust my journey. Yeah, absolutely. Now, another thing I love about this movie, I'm a, I'm a mom, I have four little kids, um, is how it elevates the importance of family and really highlights how vital a thriving family is to society. As a father, your son is, has a, a cameo appearance in the film. Why was it so important to you to elevate the family in this movie? Well, well, anybody can make a movie about a gunfight, and I'm mm-hmm. going to get you to those gunfights, and those gunfights are going to be terrifying, and they're going to be loud. Um, but I think just a woman trying to bathe because she feels so dirty, because a, a mother and daughter who realize that some hell is going on above them are only way they're going to survive is if they share breath. I, I feel the closeness I feel like that really has a, a important part in Westerns. I mean, my hope is that even though there's an R attached to this, you've seen the movie, I think a lot of people are going to say, I'm going to bring my son and daughter because they need to understand what their great-great-grandmothers and grandfathers went through. This, it does have violence, but all ha- it also has a nobility, a sense of why family is important. When she, when she says goodbye to her son, uh, she has the faith that she will be with him again. Yeah. Those are, those violence and, and, and humanity can go together. And so that's my, my hope that while it's an R, you'll decide. But I think a lot of people will say, no, I feel like my daughter should see this. Now, how do you want this series to contribute to the legacy of American Westerns and understanding of America's historical narrative? Because this really sort of stands on its own. It does. I hope that it stands on its own. I'm not looking to reinvent the West or set the record straight. I I believe that it's not a land in Disneyland. This was hard fought for. The resourcefulness it took for the people that came out not even being necessarily equipped to be in the West is something that I admire. But I also understand the great clash that happened between cultures and what we lost. There were people that were displaced. So I don't ignore any of it. I, I just go after it. I, I just, uh, where I land is, I hope I land on the side of behavior, authenticity, 